I'm Sveta Kletina and this is another session of Shoemaking Courses Online. To place the paper pattern on the last, we have to crumple it a little bit to make it softer. And first, I will start to place this pattern from the back of the last. The right distance on the back is 54 mm for size 37. For each other size, this distance increased by 1 mm. To hold the pattern, you see now I am placing the nail. And the center line of the back match the center line on the front. Now I am pulling the front pattern so it will fit perfectly the last. An important moment here is that the center line of the pattern have to match the center line of the last. To hold the paper pattern on the last, now I am attaching the adhesive tape to the edges of the last. You can also use here nails to hold your pattern on the last. Try to last it perfectly. So, your paper pattern will fit perfectly the last. You see how it lay on the last without any folds from both sides of my pattern. And I am continue to attach adhesive tape to the edge of the paper pattern to hold it on the last. Just see how it lays perfectly on the last. And on the back, the right distance from the edge of the pattern to the edge of the last is 2 mm. Because we have to consider the stiffeners and the lining of the shoes. So it must be not less than 2 mm. Now let's look how our pattern lay on the last. As we have symmetrical pattern, now we have to correct our top line on the inner side of the last to consider anatomical construction of our feet. To draw the new line on the inner side, I am attaching now adhesive tape to draw on it the new line, because I have to raise up on few millimeters. You see, I check how much I have to rise up my line and I will raise up on 4 mm from the lowest place of the inner side of my pattern. And I am trying to repeat the original line. This line must be the same line as my line on the outer side. They will look symmetrical, although they are not symmetrical, because my inner line, my inner line on the top line is higher now. I have low heel last and this distance from the previous line is 4 mm, but the higher heel is, the larger this distance is. Now, when I'm sure that my new line is correct, I can cut it out. This is good benefit of this method of construction, where on paper pattern placing on the last, I can see all changes which I have to create on my pattern. And now, I check the lasting allowance on both sides of my pattern. To do it, you see, I am drawing the edge of the last on the pattern. This way, I can check it after it and fix it according to this line which I draw on the last. This is another benefit of this paper pattern on the last. 
Now when I'm sure that I did all corrections, I checked the top line, I checked the lasting allowance and I saw that my pattern fit perfectly the last without any faults, I can take it out from the last. And when I did all these corrections, I can transfer them from this paper pattern to the new piece of cardboard and create new basic pattern from cardboard. And I will show you how to do it in our next session. Visit Shoemaking Courses online for full shoemaking courses, books and free tips.